I've been seeing these videos that start with a regular video and then kind of morph into an AI video. And it kind of freaks people out because it looks like you're looking at a real video. You are looking at a real video. And then it turns into something like you're not sure what's happening for a little bit. It reminds me of those videos about a year ago where people would jump onto a bed and like when they were in midair, it would just do this weird stable diffusion animation. I tried to do one of those myself with a bike and it wasn't great, but it was the first thing I really did with stable diffusion. So what I wanna do today is do one of those videos using free tools only. I recorded this little video of a squirrel on my porch and um, the glass is a little dirty there. So I'm gonna bring this into CapCut. Um, I trimmed it up so it's just the four seconds that I wanna use. And I'm gonna drag it on the, the timeline. Um, you can see it's widescreen here. And let's say I wanna put it on um, TikTok. So I'm gonna go uh, nine by 16 change the aspect ratio, and then I'm gonna have to like resize it this way. So I'm losing a lot, but I can just move the squirrel over and have him be in the middle there and just check and make sure, yep, okay, that looks good. Now, um, the thing that I wanna do is I wanna have this video and I need this last frame because I'm gonna use this last frame to start my animation. I'm gonna go up here and uh, cap cut to this little bar, go to export still frames, and I'm just gonna say, squirrel start frame and then it's going to import it in the project so i'm going to click export there and it's got this last still frame here i'm just going to put it in here to see how this looks okay see how it brightens it up there it's because this is in one color space and the ping is in another so sometimes you'll take a, a video with your phone and it'll be hdr so here's how we're going to fix that so we're going to click off of the clips here and we're going to go see here's where we can see it's the hdr color space so we're going to click modify and we're just gonna change this to SDR Rec 709. So now it's consistent. So if you have that brightness issue, that's why you're in a different color space. So now that we have that frame, I'm gonna to go to hyper.ai. I'm gonna start creating. And I'm up here, I'm gonna click animate your image. And then I'm gonna click upload image. And I'm gonna choose this squirrel start frame. And then I'm just gonna play with different prompts here. So let's say like the squirrel turns into like a liminal monster. I'm gonna say four seconds. Um, I'm not gonna create in public. I'm not against creating in public, but for this, this is just kind of a strange one-off thing. And I'll create that. And while that's waiting, I'm gonna try another one. So I'm gonna click animate your image. I'm gonna upload that image again. Just put some more things in there and then go create. Let's try another one where um, we have the squirrel. Let's not have it morph, let's have it do like the squirrel runs away. Okay, I've got three of them now. Um, the first two don't really do a whole lot. This one doesn't appear to do a lot, but it has like a strange, this is kind of uncanny. Something that's happening here, his head is changing shape a little bit. He's moving in a way that squirrels don't usually move. So I like this one. This is the kind of nice start to, the, to what you want to see. You want to kind of ease into the transition. Um, so this one worked really well. Uh, download this and then I'm going to bring it in here. Bring it to the timeline here. Click the down arrow to go to the end. And now I have this shot of the squirrel. So we have this thing happening here. We've got this last frame. So we're gonna go up here again, export still frames. So I'm gonna animate the image again. All right, and then we're just gonna rinse and repeat on that. So we're gonna generate a clip, export the last frame, use that end frame as the first frame for a new video bring that into CapCut, export the final frame, and then use that frame for the first frame of the next animation. Now I know you can do this with other tools like Pika and Runway where you can just extend the clip. Um, the downside of those is that it does seem to really deteriorate in temporal consistency the more you extend it. Sometimes I think using the last frame and generating four new seconds, you'll get a clear image throughout the course of that whole uh, 12 or 20 seconds. So some trade-offs there. All right, so once you have all of your clips, you're gonna bring them in. And some of them, you know, you'll notice like this one, it goes slow and I kind of like it that it goes slow, but I do wanna speed it up a little bit. So if you wanted to, you can like select the clip that you wanna speed up, go to speed. So whether you wanna do like a rate of speed, like 2X, or if you wanna just say, I want it to be three seconds long, you can decide that. I might wanna like speed some of these up too. I think that the speeding it up actually helps it sell it as a little more believable. I think it helps to have sound effects in. So in CapCut, they have all of these different, you have actual sound effects and you have music. So you can kind of find something that um, would sound like really like, you know, creepy. 
and just like drop those in there too. I think it's good to start when it gets weird. I think there's a lot of really fun, creative things to do with this. And I just want to show you like one way that you can do that for free right now. So I hope you go make something fun and weird. If this tutorial helped you, um, throw a link to anything you might post that uses this technique, because I would love to see it. If you like tutorials like this and how to make AI video kind of stuff, uh, be sure to subscribe.